everybody. Welcome to Thursday. It is almost the weekend. Thank goodness. Um, I'm sorry last night was a bit quiet. To be honest, my evenings have been very boring. We've had dinner, I've sat on the sofa and I've knitted. <laughs> and I feel that there's only so much knitting I can show you. However, I do only have about four centimetres left on the first sweater before I can do the ribbing. So maybe I will get it done this week. Um, I have... I haven't brought it with me today, but I'll work on it tonight when I get home, just because it's now like quite big and it's quite difficult to work on in the car. Um, and I will get some car knitting tonight, this is the last club before Christmas for the girls. So, um, yeah, I've brought a sock with me instead. I've got my Advent socks, <clears throat> excuse me, and I've got this pair of socks that I cast on for Dan's mum. So hopefully I can start whizzing through those. And then tonight I'll work on the first sweater. Um, tomorrow I can work on the first sweater. So I'm hoping to have that done tomorrow, the whole body and picked up the sleeves ready to go on Saturday morning for my car journey. So that's the plan knitting wise. How are you getting on with your knitting this close to Christmas? Are you in a panic? Are you gift knitting? Or are you just quite casually knitting away on something for yourself? I'd love to know what you're making. Maybe what you're making with your advents. I still have two advent calendars that I have no idea what I'm going to do with. I love them. I just don't, oh, my coffee's bubbling. I just don't know what to make with them. So maybe you've got something you're making with yours. Maybe that would inspire me, give me an idea. Let me know down below. But yeah, it's just a normal Thursday. I've been to boot camp. I've got my coffee. I wasn't going to. I did actually make one in a thermos and it's down here in my center console. But as you know, it was too hot last time. And one of the other ladies was getting a coffee and I was like, yeah, okay, I'll come with you and get a coffee. So I can drink that one on the school run and it'll be the perfect temperature. Um, other than that, I'm at work all day. I've got a lot of Christmas presents to wrap today. <laughs> Just gonna be really fun. Um, and the normal washing, get dinner ready, that sort of thing. So that's pretty much my plan. I will sneak a little bit of knitting in probably because I didn't really take a lunch break on Monday just because it's just easier to get everything done and out of the way for the day. So I'll probably do that today. I might even nip to the supermarket. I need to get some more labels. So I did a little bit of wrapping with Dan last night. We were watching Crafty Christina's podcast, um, Vlogmas, whilst wrapping. And Dan thought it was really funny to see like another, not funny, but like really interesting to see another person vlogging or podcasting or whatever you want to call it because he sometimes sneaks on mine because he thinks, bless him, that the, it helps my ratings the more people that watch it. So sometimes he just has it playing on his phone in the background. Um, but yeah, it was really interesting for him to kind of sit down and watch somebody else. So um, that was quite fun. Maybe watched her, la her latest too because I was a little bit behind and we were rapping but he did keep talking and I'm like shh I'm trying to listen to Christina <laughs> and then he makes me laugh he's like so which friend is this is this the one you were going to meet in America is this the one that you met in London is this and I'm like no no it's neither of those <laughs> bless him he tries um but my point was I need to go to the supermarket because we run out of labels for the Christmas presents so I could only wrap a few because I couldn't label them and then obviously I won't know who they're for so, dilemma in life. Uh, that's it. I could sit here and ramble all morning, but I won't because I need to get to work. So I will see you a little bit later for some more fun on the Thursday. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel? Fa la 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 la. Yuletide Carol la 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 la
end of the day. Phew. Well, until I get the goals. It is five to two. And guess what I've been doing all day? Yes. Yes, I've been wrapping Christmas presents <laughs> all day and I haven't even finished. I've got two, I can't do it backwards, two boxes over there to finish. But as I say, it's almost two. I've really quickly eaten something about half an hour ago, but I haven't technically taken a lunch break. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to leave some of the presents. So these are the presents um, that my bosses have bought for family and the girls and all of that jazz. And so I was just making use of my time quite happily wrapping presents. I do quite like wrapping presents. I know I've been procrastinating doing my own. Um, I don't know, it's something about doing somebody else's, I think. I just love being really nosy, seeing what everybody has. <laughs> so I've wrapped them all up and I've put the post-its back on so that they can write their own labels. Um, yeah, it's been quite productive as you can see, but I'm sick of wrapping now. I did buy some labels for my own wrapping earlier which means now I've got to go home and do that. I don't have an excuse. But now I'm going to go do some knitting. I'm going to have the rest of my lunch break, knit, get the girls, knit some more while they're at gym, and then go home and knit some more. <laughs> um, I don't think I've got anything exciting. Thank you so much for your questions so far for, from yesterday's um, Vlogmas. If you haven't seen it, either head over or I'll tell you here that Dan has finally agreed to do a Q&A with me. So um, ask any questions you have for Dan or for me or for both of us down below on this one or yesterday's one and we're going to try and answer them at the weekend or the beginning of next week. Um, he did say maybe about doing it while we're in the car on the way down for the drive actually. That might make quite good use of the time. So I think that's the plan. Um, yeah, I'm going to take you downstairs and we're going to knit for a bit. La 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 la, hail the new year lads and lasses, fa la 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 la, sing we joy it's all it's together. It's me again. I've just sat down and done my two stripes on my Cozy Knitter Advent socks. So here they are, two matching socks. I've just worked out, because I had a bit of a panic and was like, oh no, maybe I shouldn't have done this stripe, maybe I needed to start the heel. Um, but I've just worked out if I do the heel next, I'll then have six more colors. No, 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 that's not true. Eight more colors and I'm getting six rounds a color. So that makes 48, right? And sorry, I've got a squeaky chair. Normally when I do a sock, I do about 50 six ish maybe but as I was telling you my feet seem to have shrunk so I think I'm going to need about 50 ish so I'll get 48 with the stripes and then if I need to I'll try it on if I need to I'll just do two rounds before I start doing the decreases on the toes with the the cream color the white off white that I'm going to use for heels and toes so I think that will work pretty well I'm loving it so far I've got to admit I do much prefer these colors than these colors um but for me it's actually just the fun of it I don't care that they're a bit crazy and that they're all different colors I just quite like the fun of knitting a section a day so a stripe a day Really happy with those. We're going on to blue next by the looks. So they can go in my bag until tomorrow. An actual fact, obviously I need to do the heel on those. Yeah, I'll probably start the heel tomorrow um, because tonight I really wanna work on my first sweater. And then I've got about 10, 15 minutes till I need to leave and get the girls. And I did a little bit on um, this sock last night, not very much, but a bit more of the ribbing so I'm gonna sit here for another 10-15 minutes and try and get this one done if you didn't watch yesterday's then this is teeny button studio and it is you belong with me I believe I was watching crafty Christina and her podcast like last night and she's got this exact yarn wound up and she said it was from a Taylor Swift collection so that would explain the name of it and it does say a very swift yarn club from March 2021. So I think that might be right. I didn't know that um, because as mentioned previously, my friend Charlie 
gave that to me when she sent me a parcel from the US. So um, I'm hoping to get myself a pair of shorty socks out of these two, considering Dan's mum's got quite small feet. Well, not small, but I'm pretty sure she's a five or six. That reminds me, I did not message Dan's dad to find out. Um, I'll do that now. But I will continue working on this in the car while the girls are at gymnastics. Even though the little one is adamant she's not going. I'll see how she feels. There's a very fine line between her being tired and just not wanting to do anything. And I get she's exhausted. It's end of term. But... I think she also thinks I'm having fun without her, which obviously isn't the case. I'm just going to be sat in the car knitting and we don't really have time to go and do anything else if her sister goes in. So we are just going to be sat in the car and she's going to be bored for an hour. And quite frankly, I think she'll get a bit antsy and not really want to do that. I mean, we could go and sit in Starbucks, but that's too appealing for her. And of course, she's going to want to go and sit in Starbucks and have a baby chino and a chocolate brownie rather than go to gymnastics and then obviously her sister's going to want to do the same and then yeah they're not at clubs I'm just going to try and encourage her to go in it's the last club of term and then they break up until whenever it is beginning of January sometime so that's my day I hope yours is going well and I'll speak to you a little bit later when I get home hello it is still Thursday it's quarter to seven. I'm about to hop on Zoom with my friends, but I wanted to quickly do Advents here first. I'm not sure the angle that I'm at. I think it's really wobbly. Um, I've had, just had some issues with my tripod. This one <laughs> doesn't have a um, like a leveler, so I never know. I'm like wiggling it, and I'm like, mm, I think I'm a bit crooked. I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's do Advents. We're going to start with yarn for the soul. Number sixteen. Nice and easy. The crates are coming really empty now. I'm like, oh, it's nearly all gone. Okay, a little squish. Ooh, uh, sorry, the lighting is going to be really bad because it's so late. I'm in here um, in the yarn room and the lighting's a bit iffy. So you've got this lovely variegated blue and white colour. Really like that. That reminds me of one of my Beatrix Potter ones I've had from Yarn for the Soul, actually. Very nice. Let's... Oh, I don't have my headband on. It's because I've got messy hair. I was meant to wash it today, but then I had the gym and it's been one of those days. Um, Let's go for Castle View. Phone keeps coming out with notifications. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's find it. I'm all getting a bit squished in here. Because I'm putting the bag on top. But this one, it's like bent up. I'm excited to open that one. I can't wait to see what it is. Right. What were we on last time? I think it was like a dark purpley colour, wasn't it? Let's put that over there. Let's see. Oh, oh. oh. I thought there was something in there. It's going to blue. So this is quite a dark purple with blue tones. So pretty the way it's transitioned. I wish you could see, but you can't really because the lighting is so bad in here. I'll show you in daylight um, tomorrow, probably. So pretty. I've just realised we're away the weekend. I'm going to have to pack up my advent and try and find some time to do that. My aunt, who I'm going to visit, does know about my podcast, though, and she knows that I'm doing Vlogmas, so at least it's not going to be, like, you know, sneaking around and videoing. I'm sure she's not going to want to be in it, but um, I'll still be able to, like, go about my day and record other things without getting her or her husband's face in. They do have a pup. Well, he's not a pup anymore, is he? He's a dog. <laughs> um, they do have a dog, Cooper, who is a Springer Spaniel and he's adorable. So you'll probably see some of him. I didn't tell you that that is called Summer Nights, that colour from Castle View that I just opened. Summer Nights, I guess, yeah, when you get the dark sky in the summer. Hmm. Okay, 16. I don't have much brain capacity left today, so I apologise. Um, it's been quite a busy day. Dan and I were just discussing P 
plans for Christmas and what we need to buy, like food wise still, what we need to buy, making a list and all of that. And it just it hurts my head thinking about it that I've got to go to the supermarket and do that. Because originally we weren't doing Christmas, so we didn't really need a lot of food. So we would have just done our normal weekly shop. And now it's like, oh, obviously I didn't get a slot for delivery. So now I'm going to brave the supermarket on the 23rd of December. Ugh, wish me luck. Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you. I'm going to open blush yarns, number 16. Look at this. I love this one. It's stunning. Oh, I'm undoing it. That is so, so pretty. Cute, let's find out its name. Sugar plums. Hmm. Nice. Sugar plums, as in like a sugar plum fairy. It's that purple, isn't it? So beautiful. Right. I'm going to pop that in there. I don't know why I just closed that. They're all getting a bit squished in there, but plenty of room from the lovely bag. What else? Tea. We've got to talk about tea. 16th. I've been really bad. And literally the past four days, I don't think I've had any tea just been drinking coffee and living off it i'm feeling quite tired it's like that end of term feeling the kids are feeling it too everyone's tired everyone's grouchy and everyone just needs a break i can't wait Ooh, so number 16 is gingerbread chai this looks good award-winning spiced gingerbread chai tea it's a rubos tea hmm. yeah that's gingery you can smell that Mm, very nice. I look forward to that once I've caught up. I'm quite looking forward to having a few of those over the festive period because when it's quite, we get quite a lot of downtime obviously while we're off. And once you've visited the family and done what you needed to do and come back home in the afternoon, you sit there and knit. And I'm like, oh, I'll have a cup of tea. <laughs> so they'll get used for that. Um, I think that's it for now. I'm going to sit and Zoom with some friends because I think they're on waiting for me. And then. I'll probably take you along. You can come and zoom with us. Why not? I'll take my headband off because they'll be like, Lucy, what's going on? <laughs> they'll know. They'll know I've just been recording. Uh, not much else planned for tonight. Dan's making tea. He's making prawn pad thai. Um, delicious. I love a pad thai. It reminds me of when we went to Thailand. Dan and I went, when was it? 2019? 20 just just before christmas and oh look at that just before christmas in 19 i think um oh we had the best time it was amazing and ate lots of pad thai dan not so much <laughs> he is adventurous and he will eat things like that but it was hilarious we went into this really nice traditional thai restaurant i ordered chicken pad thai and dan ordered a hamburger <laughs> it was hilarious but delicious food and i think his hamburger was okay um Yes, that's it for tonight. We're going to do a bit of zooming, a bit of knitting, have some dinner, shower before bed and sort this hair out so I don't have to do that tomorrow. And what are we doing tomorrow? Oh, I've got a waxing appointment to sort these bad boys out and I'm getting my toenails painted. And that's about it. We're going to knit. I probably do need to go to the supermarket. And we're away this weekend so I haven't been wanting to do a shop shop but we'll probably need a few bits to take with us so you can't go to a guest you can't go as a guest empty-handed so we'll probably go and grab a glass a bottle of wine i don't know some nibbles some chocolate something like that and yeah go to my appointment get the girls last day of term yay um we didn't get to bake cookies yesterday and they wanted to decorate tomorrow so we might just I'll be cutting a bit fine tomorrow after school to then go out and deliver them. And I do know that their grandparents aren't around. So what I might do is leave it and do it on Monday with them and then drop them around to grandparents. I think that might be a better plan because we've got all day Monday and we're not really going to make any plans because they're exhausted. Um, so I think we're just going to have a couple of chill out days. I've only got the two days with them. I think Monday we'll bake biscuits, ice them, maybe go to the park, something like that. And then... Tuesday, probably something similar. We'll probably go on a woodland walk, put our wellies on, um, 
and maybe do some craft or something. They love painting, sticking, cutting, drawing, all of that jazz. So yeah, I'm rambling. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Zoom. Um, I will take you along with me and get some shots, but yeah, other than that, I'm done. Done for the night, cream crackered, ready for that shower and bed, but first we need to make some progress on this first sweater. Oh, I will quickly show you, I've made some progress on Dan's mum's sock. Um, this is what I worked on whilst I was in the car. I was watching quite a lot of Vlogmas um, and then I started sorting this out. So I finished the cuff, I did two by two. Um, I'm using a 2.25 Chow Goo 9 inch and I did 60 stitches in circumference because that's what I have. I think that'll be about right for her. And then, yeah, I've just just started on the leg, so not got too far. So once I've done some on my first sweater, I'll probably do a little bit of this. This is gonna be like my take out with me wherever I go project, I think. But yes, that's all I have to show you. I will speak to you a little bit later. If I don't speak to you later, I will definitely chat with you in the morning. Bye. <laughs>